Hey everyone, welcome to the VHF UHF channel and uh, I've been uh, having a little fun today while I'm working at different things in the house uh, and also waiting for two uh, clients that bring their computer over and actually made me uh, do the live show today an hour later. I've uh, been tuning around the frequency range for the uh, maritime bands I mean I'm having a lot of fun um, 156.800 receiving a lot of the uh, Port of Montreal uh, boats and uh, basically just tuning around and having fun heard a lot of stuff uh, really really was nice so uh, this is really cool I often do this you know one of my uh, one of the things that I like doing is concentrating on one aspect of VHF, UHF frequency range. Uh, so I'll, you know, one day I'll turn the radio on and say, well, today is, you know, maritime, like today, maritime communications. Um, another day I'll go and say, well, today is, you know, railway. I'm going to listen to railroads and stuff. Um, and one day I'll just, you know, use the uh, automatic function of scanning and say well you know I'm gonna let it scan and find some new signals that I've never heard before that I often do it's something that unfortunately a lot of people concentrate on oh I want to listen to the cops I want to listen to uh, phones I want to listen to but you know if all of that is not available they just like oh well you know I don't need the radio anymore it's useless well that's not true by scanning like this you have a lot of stuff that you'd be surprised you can hear. So, but you have to let it do its job. And in, you know, the, the biggest problem with scanning for most people is the fact that they let it scan for, you know, five minutes and then they're like, okay, well, there's nothing on. And uh, the thing is, no, it's not true. There's a lot to listen to, much more than you think. Fortunately, you've got to let it do its scanning for a while, not just for a few minutes. Because if you don't, you'll miss out on a lot of stuff that you can listen to. So, um, you know, be patient, uh, use that scanning functionality and, you know, go into frequency ranges. Don't go too wide. You know, usually what I will do in scanning is just choose a couple of megahertz. So, for example, here I'm going wide from 137 to about 174, but uh, usually I'll do a very very small part I'll say okay I want to scan the 2 meter amateur band or I want to scan from 150 to 155 megahertz and let it do that and you know what the best thing you can do with your scanner radio is simply to put it on a frequency range scan and do something else and leave the radio on while you're doing something else and you know what You'll be surprised at intervals, pretty regular intervals. You'll come across signals you weren't even aware that they were on the frequency range. So, you know, just choose a frequency range. Let your radio scan for, you know, don't, don't be ashamed to let it go for a couple of hours. Just let it go a couple of hours and you'll be surprised at what you can find. Then, you know what, you just have to check out the frequencies and see, okay, I've heard stuff on these frequencies. Now I'll go on Google and try to find out in my area what is it that I'm listening to right now. Uh, this is one of my, you know, probably one of my favorite things to do basically. And you'll be surprised what you'll hear on the different frequency ranges on uh, your radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. And I hope you enjoy this scanning video. Ouais, on était là-dessus, 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 on était là-dessus,
Wednesday night, 